Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the DFS experience for Thursday, July 28th. We have a six game slate, eight game slate, I'm sorry. Um, we're going to start with DraftKings. Now, I've been playing Otani every every time he pitches. It's been, it's been working out and paying off, except his last start, where he was rolling, rolling very well. He got smacked up by the Braves all in one inning. I think he gave up five or six in one inning. Maybe some people might jump off. I'm not going anywhere. So our first pitcher of the day is Otani. For some reason, they have his fantasy points per game at 4.2. Whatever. That's fine with me. We know we know what Otani does when he, when he pitches. So that's absolutely fine. Um, we're going... Otani, we're going to, let's go to third base. We're going straight to third base. We're going to pick up Justin Turner, 4,500. We're going to go to shortstop, pick up Trey Turner, 5,600. We're going to the outfield. We're going to pick up my guy, Mr. Hernandez. 4600. So let's pick up Tiasca Hernandez, 4600. And we're going to pick up Mookie Betts at 5500. So you can see that I like Otani and you can see that I like the Dodgers. So we're going with both Turners, Justin and Trey. We're going with Tiasca Hernandez. And then we're going to go with Mookie Betts. Um, so let's jump to FanDuel. Um, same thing. Now here you look at his fantasy points per game, and you'll see it says 42.81. So obviously on draft, they had a misprint or a typo or something like that. But obviously if you've been following baseball and playing DFS, you know that Otani's fantasy points per game on draft is not four. So don't let that sway you not to play him. Um. So we're going to go Otani on FanDuel. I'm going to second base, and I hope this doesn't bite me in the ass, but I'm going to pick up Javi Baez for value. 2,600. Um, if you're new, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up, all that good stuff. And if you want my exact lineup, my exact optimal up-to-date lineup, right before lock, just DM me on Twitter for for a um, for a day pass and I'll send you uh, I'll send you my exact lineup. DraftKings, FanDuel, Yahoo or SuperDraft, whatever you need. Let's finish off this FanDuel lineup and get out of here. So we're going we're going hobby bias for value. I'm going to I'm going to third base. Let's go to third base. Actually, no, this is what happened. I want to put Javi Baez in at... I want to put Javi Baez in at um, second base, but whatever. So let's do this. Let's go to third. Let's put in Muncy. Could I have plans for shortstop? So we're going to do Muncy. Jesus Christ. I don't want him there neither. All right, hold on. Let's do this. I want Trey Turner here. I want Baez at second. Wow. Baez. This is really annoying me. All right, hold on. Let's get Muncie in at. So we got Muncie in. Let's go with we got Muncie, we got Trey Turner. I want Mookie. We're doing Mookie at 4200. So we got enough three Dodgers. And let's go with. All right, let's just put in Javi Baez 
if he if he wherever he goes, he goes. I can be chasing him all all video. I really want to put him at second base though. So. All right, so we're going Baez, Muncy, Trey Turner, and Mookie Betts, and Baez is our value. Muncy is our value. So that's how we're that's that's what we're doing. So. Um, last thing, obviously, it's easy to jam in Dodgers when they're in a good spot. But the hard part is finding value bats, you know, our bats for value. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's about it. So, we're going Otani, Baez, Muncy, Turner, bats on FanDuel. So, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up, and DM me for a deep a day pass if you need anything and I'll see you guys later. Ciao.